Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a custom domain to your Microsoft 365 tenant. Log into your Microsoft 365 Admin Center as your global administrator and go to settings. Click on domains and click add domain. In here, type the domain name that you have just purchased and click use this domain. The next step is to verify that you own your domain. There are a couple of ways that you can do this. The most common thing to do is to add a text record to the domain's DNS records, which is the default option. So click continue. And in here, you need to add this text record in your DNS hosting provider. So Microsoft can verify that you have access to your name servers. Now, for most of you, your domain's DNS is hosted by the domain name registrar, the place where you purchased your domain from. I have purchased my domain from Hostinger.com. So now I'm going to log into my Hostinger portal and access the DNS records for my domain. I have now logged into my Hostinger account. And in here, I have selected my domain and I'm going to click manage. DNS name servers, and I'm going to scroll down. Now in here, it is going to let me add a text record. So the type I'm going to select as text, and I'm going to copy this information from my Microsoft page. So I'm going to go back to my Microsoft page. I'm going to copy the text value, and then I am going to add the TTL value as well. Now, when you do this, depending on your domain name registrar and DNS provider, the outlook and the feel is going to be different, obviously, but the fundamental process is exactly the same. And I'm going to click Add Record. Now, DNS record has been created successfully. So I'm going to give it about 30 seconds and then I am going to go back to my Microsoft page and then click the verify button. Okay, so the verification has been completed now and we're going to move forward with the process. Next, there are several additional DNS records that we need to add depending on what Microsoft services that you're going to be using with that domain. So Make sure you've selected add your own DNS records and click continue. In here, Microsoft is going to give you all the records that you need to configure these services. For example, if you want to configure Exchange Online and Exchange Online Protection, you need to add all these DNS records to your DNS host. Now, if you click on Advanced Options, you have the option to set up Skype for Business, Intune and Mobile Device Management as DKIM as well. Skype is hardly in use these days, but I highly recommend that you set up Intune as well as DKIM. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to populate all these DNS records in my DNS hosting provider which is Hostinger. I'm not going to take your time to do that. So it is going to be exactly same as how we added that text record. You simply have to select the correct DNS record type, copy paste this information and add the records in your DNS hosting provider. After you have added all the DNS records per your requirements, click continue and Microsoft will run a check to make sure that all the DNS records are in place. Let's click continue again. As you can see, the process has been completed now. So I'm gonna click done. And you can see now next to my domain, the status as healthy, which means we have completed the process successfully and there are no issues at the moment. So we are good to go. Guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.